Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope you saw from our previous video the value of transition words and transition phrases in creating cohesion um, and uh, in, in uh, uh, paragraphs of essays. Okay. And um, uh, here's a list of, of transition phrases. And I, as I suggested previously, I think it's a very good idea to have a list like this or have some cards uh, that you make for yourself uh, uh, for, the, for the course. Uh, so these are readily available to you. Once you've written uh, your essay, uh, then you can look over this and to see if you, if you can find any of these useful in trying to make uh, 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 your writing uh, more smoother. So here's the list. Let's go through some of these. So transition words can be of many different types and they can suggest many different things. Transition words and phrases can be used to signal addition of ideas. In other words, you have said something and then you want to add to that idea. And these include, for example, and, okay. The the summer summer days were long and, and they were very uh, um, busy. Also, besides, further, furthermore, to, Moreover, in addition, then, of equal importance, equally important, another. Now, another aspect of these transition words that's important is because uh, people use the same words all all the time, and sometimes uh, it's, um, uh, these until they become a bit hackneyed, right? So they become trite and they, they overused. So it it, it helps to kind of. Um, go break the mold a little bit. So instead of using further, you can use moreover, you can use uh, equally important. And so you vary the type of transition words you use to make your writing more interesting. So transition words can be used to signal addi an additional thought. They can use to signal time. Okay. So, for example, next, afterward, finally, later, last, Lastly, at last, now, subsequently, then, when, soon, thereafter, after a short time, the next week, etc. A, a minute later, in the meantime, meanwhile, okay, at length, ultimately, presently. Okay, these are uh, 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 very important. So, for example, as I said, instead of using finally, you can use ultimately or lastly, or in, at length, or meanwhile, and finally, like that. So you can use different, uh, different transition words to, uh, as, as a variety to flower your uh, writing. They can, transition words can be used to signal order or sequence, okay? So for example, first, second, etc., finally, hence, next, then, from here on, to begin with, last of all, after, before, as soon as, in the end, gradually. Okay, transition words can use to signify space and place. Okay, for example, in relation to other things, above, behind, below, beyond, hence, there, to the right, left, nearby, opposite, on the other side, in the background, directly ahead, along the wall, etc. Across the hall, at this point, adjacent to, etc. Transition. Uh, words can signal an example, for example, to illustrate, for instance, okay, so instead of using for example all the time, you can say for instance, or to illustrate, okay, because keep using the same words over and over and over uh, uh, becomes kind of boring, right, to be specific, such as, moreover, furthermore, just as important, similarly, in the same way. Transition words can be used to show results. As a result of, hence, so, accordingly, as a consequence, consequently, does, since, therefore, for this reason, because of this. Transition words can be used to signal purpose. Okay, to this end, right? So you did this in this. They, they had this plan, and to this end, to this effect, for this purpose, with this in mind. For this reason, for these reasons, transition words can also signal comparisons, like in the same manner, in a like manner or way, in similarly, in contrast, but in contrast. Look at, look at this. This word is overused, right? 
Look how different many different words can replace, but in contrast, conversely, however, still, nevertheless, nonetheless, yet, and yet, right? This word yet is very powerful. Sometimes it conveys more meaning than just simple but over here. On the other hand, of course, on the contrary, or in spite, in spite of this, actually, okay, uh, a year ago, now, notwithstanding, for all of that, strangely enough, ironically, right, as contrast. This is how it was before, and this is how. Ironically, a year ago, he was very different, for example. Number 10, okay. All transition words can be used to signal alternatives, exceptions, or objections. So you have stated the thought, and then you say, although that is true, the following can also be true. Though, while, despite this, or to be sure it's the case, it is true. True, yet, I grant, or granted that's true, yet, okay, I admit that's true. However, admittedly, doubtless, I concede, regardless. You can see what a treasure trove of, of transition words we have here, right? To dispute, okay? It isn't true that, okay, you can see, right? People are wrong who say that, okay? Deny that, to be, uh, be that as it may. By the same token, no doubt, we offer, well, we often hear it said, uh, many people claim, many people propose or suppose. It is to be thought in any case. So these are all transition phrases. In any case, whatever the cause of this condition is, we must solve the problem nevertheless, like that. Intensify. Okay, transition words can be used to intensify the thought that has been stated. Above all, first and foremost, importantly, again, to be sure, indeed, in fact, as a matter of fact, I have said, as I have said, as I have been noted to say, etc. Transition words can be used to summarize or to repeat. In summary, to sum up, to repeat, briefly, in short, finally, on the whole, therefore, as I have said, in conclusion, as you can see. As you can see, transition words are indeed very, very useful. We have already previously spoken about pronouns as uh, you, for uh, to create cohesion, and uh, in, a, uh, in a in a in a paragraph, and synonyms or similar words are, are used to create uh, cohesion um, in uh, a paragraph to make the paragraph more coherent. So I request you to uh, take a note of this treasure trove, and it will make your writing much more powerful, much more effective if you use these transition words to make uh, your paragraphs and your essays more coherent. And um, until next time, as-salatu wa-salamu 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 wa-salam